Cesar Milstein, CH, FRS, the 8th of October 1927 to the 24th of March 2002, was an Argentinian biochemist in the field of antibody research. Milstein shared the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1984 with Niels Kai Jern and Georges J. F. Kohler. Topic: <inaudible> Biography. <inaudible> <inaudible> Milstein was born in Bahia Blanca, Argentina. His parents were Maxima Vapniarsky and Lazaro Milstein, a Jewish Ukrainian immigrant. He graduated from the University of Buenos Aires and obtained a PhD under Professor Stepani, professor of biochemistry. Thereafter, he was a member of the Medical Research Council Laboratory of Molecular Biology, Cambridge, England, and held dual Argentine and British citizenship. In 1956 he received an award from the Sociedad Bioquímica Argentina for his work on kinetic studies with the enzyme aldehyde dehydrogenase. In 1958, funded by the British Council, he joined the biochemistry department at the University of Cambridge at Darwin College to work for a PhD under Malcolm Dixon on the mechanism of metal activation of the enzyme phosphoglycomutase. During this work he collaborated with Frederick Sanger whose group he joined with a short-term Medical Research Council appointment. Career Science will only fulfill its promises when the benefits are equally shared by the really poor of the world. The major part of Milstein's research career was devoted to studying the structure of antibodies and the mechanism by which antibody diversity is generated. It was as part of this quest that in 1975 he, together with Georges Kohler a postdoctoral fellow in his laboratory, developed the hybridoma technique for the production of monoclonal antibodies—a discovery recognized by the award of the 1984 Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine. This discovery led to an enormous expansion in the exploitation of antibodies in science and medicine. Milstein himself made many major contributions to improvements and developments in monoclonal antibody technology, especially focusing on the use of monoclonal antibodies to provide markers that allow distinction between different cell types. In collaboration with Claudio Coelho, Milstein helped lay the foundation for the use of monoclonal antibodies as probes for the investigation of the pathological pathways in neurological disorders as well as many other diseases. Milstein and Coelho's work also enabled the use of monoclonal antibodies to enhance the power of immuno-based diagnostic tests. In addition Milstein foresaw the potential wealth of ligand binding reagents that could result from applying recombinant DNA technology to monoclonal antibodies and inspired the development of the field of antibody engineering which was to lead to safer and more powerful monoclonal antibodies for use as therapeutics. Milstein's early work on antibodies focused on the nature of their diversity at the amino acid level as well as on the disulfide bonds by which they were held together. Part of this work was done in collaboration with his wife, Celia. The emphasis of his research then shifted towards the mRNA encoding antibodies where he was able to provide the first evidence for the existence of a precursor for these secreted polypeptides that contained a signal sequence. The development of the hybridoma technology coupled to advances in nucleic acid sequencing then allowed Milstein to chart the changes that occurred in antibodies following antigen encounter. He demonstrated the importance of somatic hypermutation of immunoglobulin V genes in antibody affinity maturation. In this process, localized mutation of the immunoglobulin genes allows the production of improved antibodies which make a major contribution to protective immunity and immunological memory. Much of his work in recent years was devoted to characterizing this mutational process with a view to understanding its mechanism and, indeed, he contributed a manuscript for publication on this topic less than a week before he died. Quite apart from his own achievements, Milstein acted as a guide and inspiration to many in the antibody field as well as devoting himself to assisting science and scientists in less developed countries. It is also worth mentioning, that even though the Nobel Prize would have made him a wealthy man, Milstein did not patent his enormous discovery since he believed that it was mankind's intellectual property. According to his beliefs, his work did not have any economic interest, only scientific. <laughs> <laughs> Awards and honors 
Milstein was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society in 1975, was a Fellow of Darwin College, Cambridge from 1980 to 2002, awarded the Louisa Gross Horwitz Prize from Columbia University in 1980, won the Copley Medal in 1989, and became a Companion of Honor in 1995. In 1993 Konex Foundation from Argentina granted him the Diamond Konex Award, one of the most prestigious culture awards in Argentina, as the most important scientist in the last decade in his country. Personal life Milstein married Celia Prilultensky in 1953. Milstein died early on 24 March 2002 in Cambridge, England at age 74 as a result of a heart condition from which he had suffered for many years. The film, Un Figuido, La Historia de César Milstein, was released in 2010, directed by Anna Fraile and awarded Best Documentary by the Academy of Film in Argentina. Un Figuido References <laughs>